Hello, my name is Mark Cicero. I'm a pediatric emergency physician and assistant professor of pediatrics at Yale University School of Medicine. This lecture is on the topic pyloric stenosis. Pyloric stenosis is known to be the most common cause of gastric outlet obstruction in infants. And as far as GI obstruction goes, it's fairly common, occurring in one in 600 infants. It's more common in males than in females and is sometimes said to be more common in firstborn males than in second or subsequently born males. A key thing to look for clinically is non-bilious and projectile or forceful emesis. When assessing it clinically and treating pyloric stenosis, there are a few key findings. First, on physical exam, there's a palpable olive or grape-shaped and sized mass found to be in the mid-abdomen. That is usually found at about the midline or just to the right of the midline at the location of the pylorus. Sometimes as well, there can be a standing wave of peristalsis found when someone has pyloric stenosis. Diagnosis is confirmed by an ultrasound, and this image shows the elongated and widened pylorus that is characteristic of this condition. There are a few key laboratory findings. Most characteristic is hypochloremic, hypokalemic metabolic alkalosis on the chemistry assessment. And this is due to the loss of hydrochloric acid in the emesis. This causes, again, a metabolic acidosis. And if it's been going on for a few days, there may be a compensatory respiratory acidosis. The definitive treatment is pyloromyotomy in the United States, although there have been reports of feeding through this in other nations.